Hey guys, we're live. So just giving you guys a few seconds to come in. All right, we're live, hey everyone. So you guys are live with Empress Radio. So did you guys see the reunion? I know it came on last night, but I was busy. So I literally just finished watching it and it was good. It was a good reunion overall. It was pretty juicy and everything. Um, a lot of a lot of good things going on, a lot of corny things, um, namely Tisha and her, her puppets. That was, that could have been left on the, on the chopping floor. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, um, See what you guys are talking about. Hey, oh yeah, happy New Year's, everyone. I forgot to say that. Happy New Year's. Um, how was you guys this night? I literally my night I slept till like 2 p.m. Uh, so that's how my went a night went. <laughs> but yeah, so um happy new year. Yeah, uh, you guys hit the like button, hit the like button. So yeah, um one one thing that I didn't see on the reviews that everyone just seemed to gloss over was Maurice staying out until 4 a.m. Or, or past 4 a.m. when he goes out. That was one of the things that was supposed to be off limits for the um, for the Scots and the Holtz to ever discuss. Like we were never supposed to know that. And I don't know why Kimmy felt the need to say it. But yeah. Or was Kimmy the one who said that? But someone someone said that. Um, that Maurice stays out past 4 a.m. Like, what is he doing, you know? Like, staying out past 4 a.m. Like, what are you doing all day, you know? Um, I have not seen it, but I did see how hard Maurice tried to laugh at Tisha's unfunny puppets, um, hoping to soften the blow because her jokes did not land. Yeah, yeah, he's he's always on Tisha's side while she's embarrassing herself at these reunions. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, uh, so yeah, the reunion started off with Melody. Hold on one second, the dog's doing the most. Okay, anyways, so yeah, um, Melody was calling out Maurice on the reunion for being fake. Um, I guess they had did an interview, and in the interview, um, he said that Kimmy and Melody weren't real friends, and Melody got offended by that. So Melody was pretty much telling him that... Um, yeah, Melody was pretty much telling him that... Um, one second again, sorry guys. Yeah, it's like as soon as I hit the record button, the dog decides, oh, it's time to play. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, I saw it and Tisha was making a fool of herself uh, with those puppets trying so hard to deflect. Yeah, because the whole reunion was pretty much calling out Maurice and Marceau and stuff this time. Like uh, coming late at the last reunion is not going to work this time. They said like, no, we're, we're about to ask you these questions, you know. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't believe that Maurice stays out till 4 a.m., I couldn't believe like Tisha. I mean, the one thing I do agree with Tisha is there really hasn't been any concrete proof. So like I wouldn't leave my man either over like just rumors and stuff. But she should pretty much like have her spidey senses, like her woman's intuition, because Martel refused to deny that that Marcel cheats. Like Martel knew, like Melody, her stories like added up, you know. We found out that Alanda really is the lady that we've been talking about, you know, um the whole time. But yeah, um, <laughs> She was whispering to the puppets like they were talking to her, like take a theater class on stage presence. Exactly. Yeah, it was it was embarrassing. She embarrassed herself the whole time. Um, but yeah, like I said, I do agree with Tisha um, 
that she shouldn't leave her man based on no proof, like if, if nothing has came out, you know. Um, other than that, I just felt like everything else is leading up us to believe that he has done it, you know. Like I don't have any doubt in my mind that he cheats just based on like the way he tries to talk over Melody. Um, did you hear that Maurice called um, Mar Melody? No, Maurice called Martel and Marceau out for having that apartment. Like, so that came out and Kimmy tried to soften the blow. Like, oh, it was all of us that owned the apartment. Like, yeah, it was all you guys. But at the same time, um, like, uh, at, there was some validity to that rumor. So it's like every rumor that comes out, they try to say, oh, we're all lying and stuff. But then there is validity to it. Like the credit one, you know, the rumors of what, what was going on with credit one, that was true. Um that they did have parties there, but Kimmy tried to say like, oh, she, um, <laughs> you know, like Kimmy said, oh, she had her her uh, building over that, you know? So it could still be possible that while you went to sleep at night, while he's going out at 4 a.m., that a woman could go there, you know? So uh, I don't know about this whole cast is really shysty. <laughs> he's a grown man and if she accepts it, that's her decision, yeah. And what do you guys think about Melody even calling Carlos King out because Carlos King was saying, trying to deny that he had not any proof or whatever. And Melody's like, me and you talked, like we were on the phone while I was with her, you know, so you do know, you know. Um, <clears throat> Mel gave no Fs for any of the cast, uh, any of the cast. Also, I think that she, for they forget she's an executive producer of the show. So of course she's going to recruit talent and sources. She understands the assignment, right? Because imagine how interesting that would have been if um, Alanda came on there. Um, so Maurice's bad behavior is off limits. Interesting. Exactly. Yeah. So that was the, the main thing that Kimmy didn't want to discuss at all, how Maurice stays out till uh, past 4 a.m. And I just thought that was very interesting to say the least. But Tisha didn't know that they all owned it. Tisha, she's in the dark about everything. Just like she didn't know that the Atlanta trip that he even went to, he didn't know, she didn't even know he went to Atlanta that day with Chris Fletcher until she questioned him. And why are you questioning your man if I thought you know, you had no doubt, you know? Why are you over here crying when he's talking to one woman if you have no doubt, you know? Uh, a picture, you know, it, um, in your husband's phone is not enough. Plus he won't answer when she asks about it. She knows he cheats and she's okay with it. Just own it and quit blaming others, right? I thought it was very telling how Martel was saying that he, um, he denied, you know, uh, saying that he was lying about the other women. He said, okay, it might not have been 20. And Carlos King said, well, maybe one. And Marto, like, he said, I'm not going to say. If it's not true, why why can you say you're not going to say? Why can't you just say it's not true, you know? Martel's very adamant. Like, that's one thing that Martel and Melody agree on, you know? I'm still boycotting listening to reviews from bloggers. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, I just, I literally just watched it. So I guess my my vote didn't go to the count, <laughs> but I watched it on YouTube anyway. Um, Carlos King, yeah, Carlos King did straight lie. I wonder if he will harbor that against her. Um, I don't know. We knew Carlos was going to backpedal. I don't know why he's like so adamant about denying. I guess he just doesn't want Marcel and Tisha to quit because they said they would quit if their stuff came out. So maybe Carlos is like playing the field, letting everyone else expose him so they can't blame production or something, you know. It was a hot mess, though, you guys. Um, I thought it was interesting, like I said. So we talked about Melody and Maurice getting into it. We talked about, um, so they talked about the Africa trip. Um, so I'll just show you guys a little bit. Hopefully they don't mess with me. That he was going to Africa. Honestly, what was your first thought knowing that your husband wanted to go 16 hours away by himself? At first, I was upset. I was like, well, why are you going by yourself? Like, this is something we decided we wanted to do as a family. Um, once he explained to me how he's been, like, stressed out over the project and everything that's going on, I kind of understood. I was like, okay, you need your alone time. Fine. I trust my husband. I wouldn't be married to Marcel if I didn't trust him. Okay, so that's good on that. You see here, Marcel's talking about the vasectomy. He said the secret vasectomy on TV um, in 2019, so I must have a time machine as well. I guess someone was saying that he had a, a kid or something. 
Um, someone says she's letting him cheat in peace, y'all. They've talked about this mess off camera and agreed that as long as she doesn't see it, she ain't believing it. Hence the reason he went to Africa and left her slow ass in Huntsville so, so he could really cheat in peace. No pics, no evidence, and she'll be right there when he comes back looking crazy per usual. So yeah, part one of the reunion was good. Um, Tisha still brought up Martel's infidelity. Yeah, he had twenty girlfriends. But where were the pictures, text messages, receipts, um, phone calls? Well, like, there's been nothing. a picture of his back allegedly. That's not my that back. No, I said allegedly. <laughs> I said allegedly. So yeah, no one believes about the. You know, they don't believe about the the back. He had a twenty girlfriends. That's right. Twenty. Uh huh. You don't have not one. Front picture when Martel was caught cheating, everything came out. Oops. Elevator pictures, mail after the phone when the girl was on the phone, everything came out. Uh -huh. I haven't yeah, received. Yeah, no, it's because she anything. put it out though. I know, man. No, the cameras wasn't in. But I'm saying it was available time. to be put out. Is what I'm saying. We don't have anything, and believe me. Melly Martell, if they had any proof, they would have put it out. So do you have any proof, Martell, that Mar I don't put nothing out, no. Well, let me ask you this. Do you mean to tell me, Tisha, that there is no doubt that you have in your mind that this could be a possibility? No. I She's lying. Melody no, said to I you... I know Melody Martell's personality. Do you see how Hold much on, information... What's my personality? Yeah, so here, you know, Martell is just saying that he never put anything out. They're all just blaming Melody for putting stuff out. And Martell said, he actually texted me his receipt. What was the receipt he texted you? So Martell said that he, he was with someone for four years and had a matching uh, Mercedes or something. You did. I can't recall that. Yeah, you did. Uh -huh. So, oh, line, girl. That she bought him a Mercedes, bought the girl a Mercedes or whatever. That's her husband and be like, well, I mean, because you guys said it, it must be true. Melody, so when you told Tisha that Marceau has cheated on her, were so watch what she says. No. Do no. you know? So yeah, she wasn't lying. Tisha. Let me ask you, because y'all have been privy to different conversations. I personally have never been privy to hearing another woman tell me that she was having an affair with Mark. So, I, I haven't. I was on the phone with you talking and she was with me. Caught in a lie. This was early on. Oh, is that the one she tried to pay to break on the show? No. So we already know about that with Alanda and stuff like that, you guys. So, yeah, it was a pretty explosive reunion to say the least, you know. Um, so why did the Scots and Sadara go get vasectomies? Kimmy is past childbearing. Interesting. Exactly. Exactly. If your husband is staying out past 4 a.m., only two things open that time of the night. Um, the, <laughs> you know what she was saying. And legs. Exactly. You're right about that. Um, the guys in Destiny have a pact between them. The brothers are throwing each other under the bus. Martel has nothing to lose. He realizes Mel isn't letting him back in her space. Exposure is on, right? And I think the only reason Martel isn't fully exposing them is because he still wants to be friends with them, you know, to a certain extent. So he's like, I'm not going to say what I know, but I'm going to say I'm not going to lie and say that I'm lying either because he never denied knowing, you know, knowing it. He, he said, I'm just not going to say, you know, and he said he'll never say. But he should say because we want to know. <laughs> um, but if if your man's your man's homeboy is asked, does he cheat on you? And the guy is like, I'm not gonna say right in your face. You're not gonna feel a way about it. Come on, they're lying in our face. Tisha was so pressed. Yes, she was. Let them quit. All they do is shift the narrative from what they know is true to Mel did this, Mel did that. So boring. Exactly. I agree with you for sure. One second, guys. You know what's gonna happen. Okay, so yeah, um, tissue is lying. That's not what she told Dr. Francis exactly. So you go to Africa to release stress, got it, right? It's like, <laughs> I would say go to the gym, but that means Ariane Curry, <laughs> but like go to the gym or something. <laughs> what are you so stressed about? Tisha should just be honest and say, no matter what Marceau does, I'm not leaving my husband. Yeah, I think we could respect that more. <laughs> Um, they should have never combined family members on any reality show. Yeah. And it seems like Mar Marceau and Maurice don't really have that much loyalty to each other because they're always throwing each other under the bus. I think that's so funny. Um, so, yeah, what else? Um, must be some type of boy code because real men don't do that exactly. 
Remember, Martel said that the old man told him to get a contract signed and don't mess with anyone that doesn't have anything to lose. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the fact that Marceau never clears up statements is evidence that he's cheating. Yeah. At this point, we need to let it go. If Tisha accepts it, it's, that, that's what I feel like, you know, unless something comes out, I'm not going to speculate. Like, I'm going to just let Tisha, like, figure it out on her own. Like, let God, you know, bring it to her, like she said. <laughs> um, Kimmy told on herself she was not married to Maurice and she was an employee. Hint, hint. Right. Yeah, she wasn't married to him, but I heard like they had bought a house or she bought a house and put him on the deed. <laughs> That's the real tea. Like, and then like we come to find out he was a barber the whole time. Like they're over here making it seem like they were millionaires. Marceau was working at the barber. I mean, Maurice was a barber. Marie, uh, Marceau was working at the movie theater. Teacher was a stay at home mom. Kimmy was working as a nurse, you know, um, but none of these people had it like they, you know, Melody and Martel had it in the beginning. And, you know, they they even spoke on that on the reunion, how Melody and Martel put them in a place to help Scope become successful, you know. Um, the old men giving Martel advice are this guy's <laughs> probably. Um, or or um what's his name? <clears throat> um, the guy in the suit that that dances, Chris Fletcher. <laughs> Marceau just cheats better and he does not have uh, to cheat with anyone that doesn't have anything to lose because he figures if he gets caught, the woman is going to end up with nothing. Yeah. Tisha is the biggest dummy. Yeah, I agree. I want a body language. Yes. A body language specialist to review these reunions because from the little that I know, their body language is screaming guilt in line. Yeah. And Melody's is screaming like you're guilty in line, <laughs> you know, like her facial expressions were like spot on. Even Martel was like, just watch if you guys rewatch it the parts that martel laughs he gives himself away that he knows more you know um tisha be uh, believes in respectful cheating obviously and i agree um oh my god so right their body language screamed liar <laughs> the guy in the suit that dances chris fletcher <laughs> empress radio i love how you quoted me just now <laughs> a wise woman once said <laughs> the guy in the suit that dances is chris fletcher <laughs> but yeah so um, i thought it was a pretty good reunion i'm not gonna linger because as you guys know tomorrow me and um caramel rail we're gonna do a collaboration talking about the reunion in great detail tomorrow um so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that um but yeah so um that's that'll be in the morning but yeah so what do you guys think about this drop your comments below and don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos from empress radio okay bye